hey, how you doing? Listen, I need you to do me a favor and call your OBGYN or your primary care physician or whoever does your gynecologic care and make sure that your pap smear is up to date. And while you're at it, you should also see if you are eligible to get the HPV vaccine because this, the fact that cervical cancer is now on the rise is unacceptable. And what is even worse is that our patients who are already so disadvantaged because they live in a rural area and have less access to health care are the patients who are more likely to pass away from cancer. Now, there are several things that we can do to help prevent you from getting cancer. The first is getting vaccinated against HPV. HPV is the virus that causes the majority of all cervical cancers. And so when you get that vaccine, especially in your early teen years, you are much less likely to pass away from cervical cancer. Number two is getting your pap smears. Remember that these start at 21. They're a simple little procedure where we place a speculum and use a little brush to collect a couple cells. And as long as that's normal, you get one every three years until you turn 30 and then you get it every five years as long as they're normal. Preventing cervical cancer and finding it early is how you're not gonna become the statistic. I love you very much and I really don't want you to pass away from what is a really, really mean cancer. So please see your OBGYN or your PCP to make sure that we're all squared away.